Have you ever noticed other swimmers in the pool swimming with a snorkel centered over their head and wondered why would someone swim with that? How does it work and what are the benefits? Continue watching to find out why the center mount snorkel should be one of the top pieces of equipment in your swim bag and why using it could help you improve your swimming technique, breathing, and pace. And if you're looking for more videos on swim technique, equipment, and training like this video, subscribe and turn on notifications for more great content. Unlike the more familiar side-mounted scuba snorkels, a center-mounted snorkel is especially positioned and curved for optimal streamline and efficiency for swimming and training the four competitive strokes and turns. Snorkels provide many benefits from beginner to pro. Whether you're just starting out or have been swimming for years, the need to breathe while swimming disrupts streamline and technique. Particularly for new swimmers, getting enough air at the right time can be challenging, especially when you're trying to stay afloat and learn a new, complicated swim technique or need to get enough air to sustain your speed. A snorkel eliminates the need to break your stroke and streamline and breathe, allowing swimmers more time to focus on their technique or maintain streamline to swim faster. It can be used to effortlessly perform a variety of technique, drills, and conditioning sets, improving a swimmer's efficiency and fitness. However, using it and finding the right snorkel and fit is its own skill. I've used a few different snorkels over the years, but have stuck with this original Finney center-mounted snorkel linked in the description. They sent me a few items several years ago for a national swim program I was running, but they don't pay me to use or endorse any of these products. What I like about this snorkel and features you should consider when choosing are first, it's comfort. This snorkel has an adjustable forehead mount with a soft, tacky, non-slip padding to be placed right against the skin on your forehead or your swim cap. It easily slides up and down to adjust the length of the snorkel between the mount on your head and the mouthpiece. The straps are adjustable and they're made of more durable chlorine resistant silicone that doesn't dry rot like typical rubber goggle straps. And the split strap comfortably hugs the back of your head. The mouthpiece is made of silicone and has the most important part of any center mount snorkel, the one-way purge valve. This valve, vertically centered below the mouthpiece, is there to collect and purge excess water, preventing it from coming in your mouth when you breathe. It also makes it easier to clear if water enters while swimming or during flip turns. The curved snorkel design is streamlined and aero or hydrodynamic, staying centered over your head, safely above and below the water. It's curved enough to avoid capturing any splash too for all the four competitive strokes and drills. It's light, it fits snugly, and it's hardly noticeable when you swim. And it allows you to focus on keeping your head down and staying aligned in your body position. As you're swimming with a snorkel, you can freely inhale as much as needed. I prefer to exhale using a combination of both mouth and nasal exhales, continuing to blow bubbles as I would without a snorkel. I find that cadence and technique prevents the feeling of water in your nose or accidentally inhaling through your nose. Some swimmers may prefer using a nose clip, which is not included with your snorkel, but I've included some links to popular clips in the description below. And stay tuned for some future content on the pros and cons of training with and without a nose clip. While the snorkel opening is large and adequate, inhaling it with it can sometimes feel laborious compared to regular mouth breathing at the surface. With practice though, it's a good exercise in controlled, deliberate breathing and will improve as you train with it and use it more. As far as clearing the snorkel of water, the purge valve will passively eliminate small accumulations of water as you swim. If you sense the snorkel is filled or you've just been underwater like off of a flip turn, you'll have to clear it with a forceful exhale. Get a big breath into your turn as you approach the wall. Perform a good streamline and an underwater off the wall, and then forcefully exhale and blow out the top of the snorkel as you breach the surface. This may take some practice, but just like the first time you added flip turns to your routine, purging the snorkel on your breakout will also become routine and subconscious with time. Like any piece of equipment, it's important to use a snorkel deliberately for specific drills or conditioning sets. Use it to improve head position, streamline, and conditioning, but avoid using it as a crutch for inefficiencies in your breathing or technique. It can also be difficult to use or claustrophobic at first. Start with short repeats, be patient, and remember you can easily push it out of your mouth and just roll or lift up to breathe as you normally would right above the surface of the water. So whether you're just starting out or you're a seasoned pro, a center mount snorkel is an essential piece of training equipment, helping you learn a new technique or stroke or hone your goal pace and conditioning. What's been your experience with snorkel training? What snorkels do you prefer? I'd love to hear your tips and tribulations below. Let me know what additional questions you have, and please like and subscribe below and keep swimming.